sponsored by Flip Narrative. And remember, if you don't love your story, flip it. But yeah, I think the freedom and flexibility I have now in reselling and even the things I learned, like as a director, those are the different things that I'm bringing into the business, you know, like working with my husband. So it's not like I just throw those skill sets away. It's just I just channel it into what we're doing with our business. And I Mm -hmm. think that was one thing I appreciate about Derek, that when I was kind of in that season of I felt like it was ending. But honestly, Mm -hmm. like I was looking for another nine to five job because I'm not as adventurous as him. (laughs) <laughs> like I need to know. I'm gonna have my money at this point in time, and that's me. Like I'm, the, I'm the organized. Like make it make sense for me. If it don't make sense, I ain't trying to hear that. I ain't trying to hear that. You know. But um, when I was in that season, I did start interviewing, and I had some opportunities that fell through, and I had some opportunities where they did want me, and um, I just didn't have peace about it. And mm. um, I remember that the last job I was kind of holding out for, it was a job working and pairing like international students with American families. And I was like, man, this is so dope. Like they get to go in the homes and I'll be coordinating. And um, and they turned me down. You know, I was like the top two candidate. And wow. literally the lady called me who interviewed me and was like, uh, I don't know what's in store for you next, but I just know it's so much bigger than what our organization can offer. Yeah. Literally, this is what the lady who interviewed me called and said to me when she rejected me. She was just like, it's just not, I, and I don't think it would be fair to hire you because I just think it's, it's so much bigger than what mm-hmm. you you would be doing with us. Yeah. And I remember calling Derek and I was like, babe, you know, they, mm-hmm. they said no. And he was like, well, babe, let me know how I can support, you know, because I was driving at the time. And so when I got home was when he was like, have you ever thought about coming full time with me with the business? He was like, rather than giving your skill set at another company, why not put it in our household? Mm. Why not put it in our business? Why not build with me? Because it's not just building for a business. It's building for our family. It's building for our children. It's building for our future. And, you know, I was like, every now and then you say stuff that really makes sense. Like, (laughs) really, really, every now and then. (laughs) But, um, But you know, but you know what I really did, though, for real, is that, like, as Christians, like, we believe, you know, what the Bible say, right? So, like, he gave us wives, right, to be our helpmate, right? So, like, mm-hmm. when when she left her job or whatever, like, I just went and was praying, was like, Lord, like, I need my wife. Like, she has different gifts and talents that I know that we could use in the business, mm. you know? And I just really just prayed. And, you know, it was really God that closed them doors. And to them, and, you know, everything like that. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. it's like, and, and it yeah. worked out. And then there were some, like I said, that did offer. And I told them, no, I was just like, this is great. It's a great pay raise, but it's just, I don't feel peace about it, you know? Mm -hmm. But when he said that about the business and, you know, I really kind of sat with that for a minute. And the more and more I thought about it, I was like, man, this is everything that I want. Like the financial security is there because, you know, he's done a great job with building that foundation for the business. Mm -hmm. Um, And then the freedom and flexibility with my schedule to be more available for my kids, our kids. That's yeah. there, you know what I'm saying? And then there's also some other projects of things I've been working on while I was working my job. And, you know, I really feel like God was like, this is your time to focus on that. Support your husband. You got the flexibility. You got like, what more yeah. do you need? Right. <laughs> you know, it's almost like it was right in my face the whole time. But, you know, at that right moment was when it really came full circle. And so that's kind yeah. of been the journey. And, you know, that's when we started doing the YouTube together even more and, Really, uh, y'all saw the videos where we had to do a full overhaul, clean sweep of, yeah, the, yeah. of the office, and that was uh, fun, wasn't it, babe? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, remember, um, I, I specifically remember when Derek was like, yo, I got so much stuff everywhere. I got this <laughs> room full. I got this room full. And now just look at it. Now it's like super clean, super organized. Yeah, uh, yeah. and it's still a work in progress to kill and dime. I ain't going to lie to you. But from where we came from, and I think that's why we're talking about the addition, because yeah. my thing is Atlanta, we have the blessing of having a lot of inventory, you know, like he has a great eye and Atlanta, yeah. like we do have a lot of great areas that you can go to and really load up if you want to. But mm-hmm. we only have a, so much space, you know what I mean? And I think I'm really big with the family. It's like we have to have our living space. Like this is not a warehouse. This is right. a household and we're running our business. But you know, the addition really made sense because it's like we still want to grow and scale the business because, yeah. you know, reselling mm-hmm. is very lucrative. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I'm saying that from a numbers person. Like, a, yeah, it makes sense. And it's crazy because, like, I was just, like, thinking, like, man, what it would be dope, man, if we had, like, an addition. And, like, how God just lined it up. Like, I told you on the call, kill, you know, mm-hmm. with Derek and uh, Bounty, 
whatever, like how, you know, how much we paying for it. But like one of my best friends, his pastor, like literally builds additions. That's what he does. And like the, the price quote he get, he gave us, whatever, was just like crazy. Yeah, compared to what we were anticipating. Right. And yeah, he was like, you know, I, I know y'all, man. I know what y'all doing, man. Like, I just want to, you know, come and help out, whatever. And I'm just like, man, it's crazy, bro. But it's like really like this year, man, God really just been showing me like I need to like continue to submit to him. You know what I'm saying? And seek him first. And he's going to open up all them doors. Yeah. And, and I'm like before my eyes, bro, like I'm seeing it happen, man. That's amazing. You know what I'm saying? Like. It's crazy. Like people literally, bro, like calling me and like, hey man, you know, um, you know, we got a whole bunch of inventory. You know, we just want to, you know, uh hook you up with some. You know what I'm saying? And I mean like blessing us, bro. And it's yeah, especially yeah, it's, it's like awesome, with man. his injury. And like for those that follow the channel, y'all know like he ruptured his Achilles back in November. Like yeah. and we talking about his right leg, meaning he can't even drive. So even yeah. if he wanted to go pick up inventory, like I would have to be there with them. And so it's like what seemed to be a setback was really a setup, you know, how I see yep. it, because that's what kind of opened up the doors for people to be like, man, he's been so consistent before. We're going to make sure we look out for him, you know, yep. whether it was them having sympathy on him uh, with the knee scooter. <laughs> <laughs> they would see yeah. him coming around the corner with that knee scooter and the ladies in the back be like, let, let, let's help him out. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, however you get it, but it's 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 been working for us, you know, and, um, yeah, it's dope, man. you know, I see the light at the end of the tunnel now because he's like in regular shoes and the doctor. I literally just gave him the green light last week to start driving small distances. Yep. You know, so I don't even know if I can anymore, bro. Like, you know, yeah, we're gonna take it slow. Yeah, we're gonna take it slow. Yeah. <laughs> like I say, you can, if you don't have to drive, I mean, by all means, just no, no, I don't care putting in. You know, <laughs> I have, thank you, Dom. Thank you. Thank you. Literally behind that wheel. <laughs> right, right. Says the one who's been holding it down. So I'll go from shipping orders to picking up from basketball practice to going to the grocery store to yeah. going to get him something to eat and then doing it all over again and picking the kids yeah, she up. She come home be knocked out. She be snoring and everything, I man. Done. Not playing. Not playing. <laughs> I don't snore, baby. And this was all while I was in my uh, last semester of grad school. So I was like, I'm in yeah. my last semester grinding. And so, but you know, I say all that to say, like, going back to what you said, Akil, about discipline. Like there's a quote that I read that's so good, but it says you're not always going to be motivated, which is why you got to learn to be disciplined, you know? Mm -hmm. And so for me, like that was kind of a driving force for me. It's like, I don't have to feel it to still get the work done or to still get the job done. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. And that's really where your strength lies in being disciplined, especially in those moments when you ain't feeling it, you know? Yeah, that's mm -hmm. when it counts. Yeah. Yeah. So if you guys enjoyed that short clip from the podcast, click over here for another short clip. And if you guys want to check out the full podcast, click over here. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.